Hi everyone, this is Natasha joining in on the All to New September Marvelous Monthly Series Video Hop. I will be sharing this beautiful card and process with you. I also will have all the details for the video hop and the giveaway prizes. There are multiple available down below in the description box as well as over on my blog. So if you would like to join in, be sure to check out all those details. But let's make a card. Today I will be using the Frilly Begonia stamp set, which is a part of the Build-A-Garden set or kit that you can pick up from Altenew. You will receive the stamp set as well as the coordinating stencil and a blending brush. And there is also the additional add-on die set that will die cut out the two floral images as well as the two larger sentiments that are a part of that stamp set. For my card front, I am going to be grabbing my yellow cardstock, which is already cut down to A2, as well as my all new embossing paste and the honeycomb stencil. But before we get into using that paste, I'm going to grab a little blender as well as the honey drizzle mini cube that I have. And I am going to add a little bit of ink all around the edges of this cardstock so we can have a bit of contrast in with our honeycomb. With inking around this panel, I am not looking for perfection. I just want to ensure that there is ink concentrated around the edges so the eyes will be drawn to my stenciling as well as the flower, which will be the focal point of the card. So once that is completed, I'm just going to grab my honeycomb stencil as well as my palette knife. And I'm just going to add a little bit of paste and try to be a bit random with how I am adding the paste onto my card pan. I also want to try to kind of balance out where my placements are so there's not too much in one area because I know I'm using the large frilly begonia and I don't want there to be too much white in one spot. Again, I am not looking for perfection with this card panel. I love how mixed media allows you to just be creative. And this is a simple stencil that you can use just to add a little bit more texture to some basic cardstock. A little inking and a little paste and you have a beautiful base layer for your card front. All right, so now I have grabbed the two floral images and I will be heat embossing those using some gold embossing powder. For this card, I'm only using that single frilly begonia image instead of the larger one that includes multiple florals. But because I'm already doing this, I went ahead and just heat embossed both of them so I can have the other one for a huge project. Now that my images are heat embossed, I just grab the stencils that coordinate with this stamp set and I am starting with stencil four. Stencils one, two, and three coordinate with the larger flower down at the bottom here, but I am going to be using only the smaller flower. So I just grab stencils four and five, which will coordinate to this flower and the leaves. So just keep that in mind when you are using this um, stencil and stamp set. So once I have those lined up, I just use some tape to hold those down. And now I'm just going to grab the Mango Smoothie Crisp Dye Ink here, and I'm going to start inking my flower. So I'm going to preface this section of the video by saying I did speed up my ink blending a bit, but I'm only using that mango smoothie ink for this section. So nothing different, nothing fancy. I'm just using the mango smoothie ink for the entirety of this flower and it's only on stencil four that I'm using. I am trying to create some variation of color by concentrating more of the ink towards the innermost part of each petal and kind of lightly blending out so the edges of each petal are white or a very very light yellow 
but um yeah other other than that i'm just using that same ink and i will also go into some of these smaller areas with a smaller blending brush just to make sure that i'm completely covering each little petal where it needs to be and be able to concentrate that ink And again, I'm just going in here with my small blending brush once I'm pretty much complete and just adding more depth in the innermost parts of each petal. And this is how my flower looks. So now we are going to move on to the leaves for the flower. And again, I'm using Stencil 5 to add color to my leaves. And this time around, I am going to be concentrating my ink towards the center of each leaf here instead of like the uh, bottom of each leaf I'm going to concentrate more of my color and pigment towards the center of each leaves and the ink that I am using for my leaves is the let us celebrate fresh dye ink and this was a part of the Amy tangerine collaboration with Altenu so yeah that is what i'm using here again concentrating my ink into the center of each leaf and just blending that out as you can see the leaves are much simpler to line up and easier to complete and again i'm only using that one ink to add color variation throughout each leaf So here is how my flower turned out. I love how it looks, but I thought it needed a little bit more definition. So I went in with the honey drizzle ink that I used before, and I just added a little bit more depth and definition to some of the petals. So you can do that if you like, but if you choose not to, or you only have one or two inks in the same color family, just use what you have. This is just what I chose to do. Now my background is dry and I'm just making sure. And there is my die cut flower and I'm just kind of playing around with my placement to figure out what or how I want everything to look. And I decided that I needed some dimension here. So what I decided to do was grab some craft foam and I added some double-sided adhesive to both sides of that and just die cut out this flower shape again only using that foam double-sided tape combo. So basically just some sticky foam that I can add to the back of this flower to pop it up. And there you can see all of the dimension and how easy it was to create that. So now I'm just again playing with placement and I decided I'm going to stamp my sentiment directly onto this card panel. So I grabbed the thanks a bunch for all you do sentiment from the stamp set and I just add the sentiment to the lower left hand side of my card panel. As you can see my sentiment did not stamp perfectly and that's because I stamped over my embossed area. So here I'm just taking an ink pen and I'm just going to go over the bits that you can't see and then I just re-stamp again over that so everything is dark. Now all that is left to do is add on my flower so I just position that and because I use double sided adhesive I just stick that on down. I did go in and add a few gems around the flower and then I adhered it to my A2 size top folding card base and then I just snipped off all of the overhang and here is my completed card. Don't forget that this video is a part of Alta News video hop for the September Marvelous release. So be sure to like, subscribe, and comment as well as check out all of the details in the description and go to the next person's video which is linked down below. Alright guys so that is all that I have. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.